Hey there YouTube, uh, my name is Chris and I'm going to be showing you just the logistical stuff to installing new LEDs on a Scion TC uh, dash. So um, the, the best place to look for a tutorial on this is on ledmod.com and they'll link you to Scion Live. And I picked up the LEDs off of eled.com. Um, I don't really endorse them because they charge a lot for shipping, but uh, for about 30 to 40 bucks you can get enough LEDs to replace your uh, dash any way you like. Um, this, is, this isn't really a complete tutorial, this is just to show you that it's not that hard to solder, uh, to remove and re-solder LEDs. And so one thing we're going to want to start with is the brand new LEDs. So they come in a packet like this. I have about 20 here and the first thing you'll want to find is that if you look at this diagram right here <coughs> each LED has a little notch in it and for most of them the notch means negative and the other side means positive with the, ter with the terminals being right here but for some reason on a shipment of blue LEDs I have uh, the notch means positive and the blank means negative and on our, on our board right here, each LED is labeled with its own arrow, and for, for the board, this will always be true. Um, positive starts here, and it, point, and it drains to negative. And so, what I did to test all of this is uh, I made a little 3 volt, um, three volt, volt battery rig, and I just, uh, just tested each side of the LED. And it's hard to see, but yeah, it uh, the notch is positive and the flat side is negative for the blue LEDs. For the white ones, um, the notch is negative and the other side's positive. All right, so let's get to the uh, soldering. Uh, I'm going to be removing this one right here, and what you'll want to do is you don't want to you don't want to melt the board so just touch it with touch it with a little bit of pressure and what you want to do is lift it up as soon as the solder melts so we'll give it a little bit of pressure and it's there the other side's still soldered down so what we'll do is it's not it's not hot anymore we'll push it down and then we'll come at it from the other side and just put pressure on it again and it's off and just repeat this with all your LEDs. Um, you are going to need, if you're changing from their amber, so uh, when you change it to blue and white, they require a little more power. So you're going to be um, you're going to be changing a couple of resistors on there. Again, the best place to look this up up is on a, a some sort of sign forum. Forum. Uh, I recommend signlife.com. Uh, there's just a ton of information there. All right. And to prepare, to prepare it for a re-soldering, what you want to do is touch one of the terminals with your soldering iron. Let's get a little light in here. Thank you to uh, Cameraman Brady for helping me out here. All the, all the solder is pretty much removed. Um, they had machines do it, so obviously it's a lot tighter. Uh, what you'll want to do is touch the, touch the part where the solder um, has been mostly removed and add a little bit of solder to it, which makes soldering the new piece in a lot easier. There's a, there's a little mound there now. Um, that's just to prep it for uh, putting, putting the new piece in. And I have my new blue LED here and a pair of tweezers. So the arrow right here is pointing to the left, so i am got to keep this all straight in my head. All right. It's going to be going that way. Uh, just turn this a little bit. You want to pick up the new LED. Alright, and you want to quickly heat up 
the, the new solder that you put in and lay down, lay down the LED. All right, and it's no longer jiggling. We'll just uh, twist it around right here to get at that other side. Uh, this is the first time I've doing anything like this on my car, so it's a little bit sloppy, but it works in the end. You just want to heat up. You just want to heat up the point between the uh, LEDs uh, terminal and the soldering point. And then just stick the uh, new solder in there, and it's good to go. So this is just a basic uh, logistical thing. Um, it's not hard to really do any of this to get it to work, and you can always test it afterward. Just to make sure you haven't burned out the LED, you can always test it afterward with uh, like that, and just repeat it about. 25 times and you're good to go. So uh, this may be the first of several tutorials. Um, have a good one.